everyone. I'm here to walk you through my makeup and this is of the second blush drawer that I have. So we'll start on the little container on the right hand side. In here I have forever blushes. They are amazing. Love, love, love these blushes. So insanely pigmented. Use a stippling brush if you're afraid of color. They go on and they last forever. There's a reason for the name. These are phenomenal blushes. Absolutely love them. Can't recommend them highly enough. Maybelline Master Highlight. I know I'm going to get kicked off YouTube one of these days for differing with everybody else. These are just okay. I have coral and pink rose. I use them over top of a blush. They seem to accentuate my pores. They kind of look patchy. I'm not thrilled with them. I would not repurchase and I don't recommend them. The final thing I have in this drawer is two hard candy trios. I love hard candy and these are no exception. I don't know if you need to purchase these um, because it's kind of difficult getting into them, but for travel these are amazing. They've got the bronzer, the highlighter, and the blush. I think both of these are stunning. The pink one is the three strikes and the peach one is three times a lady. These are gorgeous and they're very easy to grab and you've got, like I said, your three products at once when you travel. When you the middle container that I have here is the first of mainly cream blushes. So I have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five of the NYX cream blushes. Love these blushes. Now they are very moist. They are not a dry blush. And I like that because I put it on and then I put powder over top. I really enjoy cream blushes. They make things last longer and they just give a nice glow, especially in the summer. In here, I have a very, very, very old Maybelline bouncy mousse blush, which I wish they made them the same now these are a very moussey texture i love this so much and i don't know why they changed a good thing but definitely going to be using this up i love it two fox in a box ones i really enjoy the hard candy products and these are no exception this one is truth or dare and this one is sweet and spicy i wasn't sure about the sweet and spicy having those four colors gorgeous. It is just an amazing blush. When you swirl it around, I absolutely love this. This is one of my favorites that I would strongly recommend. It's beautiful. The BH Cosmetics Duo in Lilac, it's okay. It's nothing that I would recommend that you have to run out and purchase. My NYC Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder in Pink Cheek Glow. Really enjoy this. Similar to what I said about the uh, Fox in the Box, the spicy one, with the browns in there, you think that that would muddy it up. It doesn't. It gives it just a beautiful warmth. So I really, really like this. If anybody has any other NYC colors they think I should get, let me know because I really enjoy this one that I have. And then last in this drawer is all cream blushes. This is a flower cream blush called Pure Petunia. It's okay. It's my least favorite probably of all the cream blushes that I own. I have two of the Jordana cream blushes, the color tint blush sticks. I really like these. These are very nice. They are amazing for the price. I have two of the NYX blush sticks. These are very nice. Um, what I like about sticks is you can put it on in the car or, you know, out when you're out at work and just kind of use your fingers to spread it out. It's more convenient than having a pot of the cream that you have to use a stippling brush in. Um, I think the wetter ones though do a better job of lasting for me and making the powder on top last. Then I have three of the Master Glaze blush sticks. These are very nice. They are drier. They go from a stiff cream to a powder very quickly. Finally, my two favorite cream blushes are these huge e.l.f. cream blushes. I will never go through these in my lifetime. I'm going to give it a good try. Absolutely love these. They last forever. Great pigmentation. And I don't know, I think there's something like $6 for this ridiculously huge amount. They look vibrant. They look scary. They blend out absolutely beautiful. If you are placing an e.l.f. order or you see one of these in a Target or Walmart, highly recommend that you check these out. That was my last of my blush drawers and next we'll get on to the eyeshadows. Thank you so much for watching. If there's any 
blushes of the lines that I mentioned that I don't have the colors that you think I should, please let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll talk to you next time.